What if instead of having an economy where everyone had to work just to provide for themselves, we had an economy that, based on the technology we have, we provide for everyone's basic needs? I mean, considering the unemployment rate is so high, this means that we don't need to be doing nearly as much work in order to uh, support society and provide for everyone. This should be a really good thing, but we have this idea that there's an unemployment crisis and that we need to create jobs. The only reason that we would need to create jobs is if there was a demand for them. Since there's no demand for jobs, uh, they're not going to get created unless uh, people suddenly start uh, demanding something that they're not presently demanding. To be frank though, a lot of the things that people demand uh, and a lot of the jobs that people have aren't necessary. We don't really need to have telemarketers, we don't really need to have uh, politicians, in my opinion. Um, we don't really need to have a lot of jobs simply because they could be replaced with technology if we had the impetus to do that. Uh, we already have these self-checkout things at grocery stores. Uh, why do we need grocers? Why, why do we need people to ring us out? You know, I'm sure that there, if, if we wanted to, we could very easily um, fire everyone who's working as a grocer and replace it with technology. You know, maybe put a sensor on every food item or whatever and charge people. It doesn't really matter point is, we could replace those jobs if we want to, but we're stuck in this economy where everyone has to have a job to provide for themselves. I think that's the big problem we're facing, is that not that there is a lack of jobs, but there is a lack of need for jobs. So imagine if in a small society, uh, maybe 100, 200 people, uh, they were all growing their own food, completely independent, uh, didn't drive anywhere or anything, just completely on their own and self-sustaining. And someone in this society invents some technology that makes it so that um, only half as much work is needed to be done to um, feed everyone. Say so he invents the, the plow or some kind of farming technology. Do, do they then say once um, less work needs to be done that there is an unemployment crisis? No, they suddenly have much more free time and they can use that free time to do whatever they want. They don't need to be farming anymore. And we're kind of like that, you know, just on a much larger scale. But it's like someone said that we have... Uh, someone in the village said that um, this is a problem. <laughs> uh, we need to have everyone working all the time because otherwise how will we know that you're uh, contributing to, to, uh, to the village? So, <laughs> um, this creates a problem and it creates, um, it makes unemployment a bad thing instead of a good thing. It makes it so that everyone's in debt and there's no money to pay it off makes it so that we're attached to the idea that everyone has to work. So at this point, a lot of people start asking, what, give everyone a handout and just uh, let everyone be lazy? I say, no, don't do that. Just reduce the amount of hours that people work. Pay people more so that they don't have to be working all the time. For example, um, 
let's say that there's a grocery store, and this grocery store employs like 30 people, and um, you know a certain amount of them are stocking shelves, and a certain amount are ringing people out, uh, a certain amount are you know that we've got a manager. Um, so suppose that we create this system. This grocery store is going to try something new. It's going to try um, attaching a sensor to every grocery item. And then what the customer does is pick out everything they want. And they go to this conveyor belt and they put all their items on the conveyor belt. And it goes through this scanner that scans everything, kind of like um, you would if you were going through an airport security and you were bringing your uh, you were bringing your stuff through. So, because of this, this auto checkout function, this new technology, um, we suddenly don't need the 10 or 15 people who were uh, ringing people out. So then, what you can do um, is you can reduce everyone's hours by like 30 or 50 percent and you can increase everyone's pay because the grocery store is still making the same amount of money it's just that it needs less people working and then say you know you've got all these people stocking shelves why don't we get why don't we make a uh, spring-loaded shelves so that we don't have to be walking around all day and uh, making sure everything looks good. Then you, maybe you need like five or ten people less <laughs> uh, to to maintain the grocery store. Um, at that point, maybe you only need like a few people to uh, watch over things, make sure people aren't stealing, and a few people to um, make sure that all the stock is coming in on time and things like that. But still, the grocery store makes the same amount of money. It just had to make this this initial um, uh, expense of creating the technology and putting things in place. But once that's paid off, and once everything's running smoothly, then the grocery store still makes the same amount of money. There's still a demand for food and all the things in the grocery store, except you hardly need to do any work to maintain it. We've got an unemployment crisis, obviously, and we, <laughs> you see the problem here. And unless we're going to go back to the Stone Ages, unless we're, we want to, um, uh, you know, um, go back in technology-wise, then uh, we're always going to you know, have things kind of the way that uh, we are now, with a lot of people in debt and a lot of people unemployed, and this all being a bad thing because no one can pay for their food, and um, there, there's no way around it because, the, you know, the, we don't need these people to be working. So this is just one example of a job that could be pretty easily eliminated with technology. It's not inconceivable today with the technology that we could eliminate lots of other jobs and eliminate jobs that don't produce anything, like advertising. I mean, unless we're willing to regress in technology, this problem is going to keep presenting itself because there's going to be an unemployment, right? Because that's what technology does. It reduces the workload. I think the real crisis here isn't one of unemployment. The crisis is that we're still working just as hard, if not harder than we have in the past, despite all the new technology we have.